Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 17 through 23, where it is written, On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where do you want us to make the preparation for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I'll keep the Passover at your home with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with twelve. While they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one, to, the one who has dipped his hand in the bowl with me will betray me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Betrayal. Hard to imagine. We've been with you three years, Lord. Who would betray you? Not me, is it? And so the conversation goes. And this really put people on edge. For the Passover, it was like a Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner to us. It's a major holiday. You're there with your loved ones. It's a great time. Jesus even says elsewhere, I have longed to eat this Passover with you. So they're having a holiday dinner with Jesus. It's a great time. One of you will betray me. What? That was the people's reaction. We all know it's Judas. But here's the thing. We all are of all we all go to the Passover. Every time we take of the Eucharist, it's the same Jesus. The same words, this is my body, this is my blood. Eating and drinking, we're eating along with not just the twelve, but every Christian throughout history. We're there with all of them together. We're all made one because there's only one Christ whom we all partake of. And in our life, as we leave church, we end up being the Judas. We end up betraying Jesus. We end up doing the wrong thing. It's easy to single out Judas. But in the end, the other eleven abandoned our Lord as well. The eleven, though they were forgiven, they were brought back as apostles. They did betray Jesus Christ, just like Judas did. I don't know him. I'm fleeing and running for my life. The once, what was the difference between Judas and Peter? Peter repented. Judas did not. That's it. The lesson for us, this confession and absolution every week. After the confession and absolution in our service, we come back to the Lord's table. Only by, only by continued confession and repentance, by continuing to partake of our Lord. That's our only hope in this life. If we walk away from this confession and absolution, if we walk away from the Eucharist, we're walking away from Christ. Our faith will slowly weaken until it ceases to exist. And then we are lost. Here is the way, not because of this building, not because we're so good, but rather because Jesus Christ is that good. You see, just as he forgave the eleven and they repented, they came back. Like the eleven, Jesus Christ remains our only hope. We are traitors. We have no right to look down upon Judas. Again, our only hope is Christ, who's that loving, that merciful, that forgiving. Common sense, don't give up on him. Stay with him. And let that be our closing prayer for this morning. Lord, help us to never give up on you. For Lord, you never give up on us. Help us to remain and abide with you always. And in the end, we may be with you eternally.